I'm going to demonstrate and discuss the procedure I used to paint the back and the bottom of my glass 90 gallon reef aquarium. Now I realize there's a couple of videos out there in the YouTube world that provide a really good overview of this procedure, but they all seem to leave out a couple key details. Well, I'm going to highlight those here in this video. This procedure is not difficult, but it does take time, mainly because you have to wait hours for the paint to dry between coats. You'll need the following supplies. Some glass cleaner, the kind with alcohol works best, paper towel, oil-based enamel paint. Now, you could use any color you want, but I recommend going with black or dark blue to create a natural look that does not steal attention from your fish. A large screwdriver is useful for prying open the paint can and stirring the paint. A foam brush, a high-quality nappy roller that won't leave fuzzies in the paint also works well, a razor to scrape paint off glass surfaces where it's not wanted, and a fan to help speed up the drying times and to air out the room. First, clean all the glass surfaces that will be painted. Make sure there's no fuzzies from the paper towel left behind. Place the tank on its side so that the surface you are painting is horizontal to the ground. This will make it easier to get the paint on evenly with no drips. Next, tape off the edges, trim, and bulkhead holes, basically all the edges where you don't want paint. You really don't need to paint right up to the bulkhead holes behind the overflow box because you won't see that. I'm doing it here because I don't know how this tank will be used in the future. Who knows, in 10 years I might upgrade to a larger reef tank and this tank might be used as a terrarium, in which case the overflow box will be removed. Stir up the paint thoroughly. Use the foam brush to apply the paint along the edges. Be sure to get a nice line of paint close to the plastic trim. Then apply a thin coat to the entire glass surface. This first coat will be thin and will look ugly, but that's okay. Basically you're just trying to create a thin layer for the second layer of paint to stick to. Apply the paint to the bottom of the tank following the same procedure. Now you may be wondering why I'm painting the bottom of the tank. Well, if you look at the cabinet I'm using, it has an open bottom. If you have a thin layer of gravel or no gravel at all, light will bleed up into the main tank from the refugium area. I don't want that. I recommend waiting two to three hours between paint coats. If you try to paint over a tacky layer of paint, it tends to pull the previous layer of paint off the glass. Then you're back to square one. I ended up doing three coats. During the painting of the third coat, I found it helpful to hold a bright light under the glass to illuminate the areas where the paint was thin. I could then target those areas with additional paint. I experimented using a small foam roller for this step. I didn't find it any better or worse than the paintbrush. As I was observing my paintwork, I noticed something that concerned me. Since I only painted up the black plastic trim, you could see the boundary between the paint and the trim, and this boundary would be visible under the waterline. It's a small detail that most people wouldn't make a fuss about, but I didn't want to leave it that way. I solved the problem by using a putty knife to pry up the edge of the trim, and using a small paintbrush, I pushed paint as far as I could under the trim. I worked my way across the trim. I found that the pressure from the trim helped spread the paint once I removed the putty knife. By doing this, I was able to get the paint far enough above the waterline 
so that the boundary between the paint and the trim would not be visible once the tank was filled with water. Another thing I was not completely happy about was the texture of the paint. You could clearly see the brush strokes on the back of the tank. This of course will not be visible as the tank will be up against the wall. Now I suppose if I were to do it all over again, I would try a paint roller instead of a brush to see if that would yield a better outcome. The inside however looked amazing. The black will provide a contrasting background to all my colorful fish and coral. Thanks for watching everybody. If you found this video helpful, please like it and don't forget to subscribe.